we're here at Chocolate Unwrapped at Vinopolis in London and we're going to go inside and see some fantastic chocolatiers. We've got amazing chocolate bars, truffles, filled chocolate and even some brownies. So if you'd like to follow me. This is the first time we've come across at Chocolate Unwrapped. Loudon, Sun and Stephen Trigg from Leeds. And Hi guys. Stephen, uh, as you can see, we're less than halfway through Chocolate Unwrapped it's been quite popular. There's barely anything left in the shelf. It's been like a piranha fish feeding frenzy, so it's, uh, I didn't realise how big it was going to be this year. I think the show every year gets bigger and bigger and it's fantastic. And it teaches a lesson to make more chocolate and uh, come back next year. What's been the most popular chocolate, Stevie? Uh, definitely the passion fruit and salted caramel. I, and they're prestigious because of the awards, but the flavours, people are really talking about the passion fruit and they've tasted a number here and they keep coming back and telling us how fantastic so it's really nice for us for the late nights, you know. <laughs> lots, lots of hard work. And uh, this year you're launching a brownie as well. We are, yes. Yeah. So we've got a gluten-free brownie. Uh, we're not using flour, so we're using hazelnut and almond for the base. So it's 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 retaining its moisture and the flavour is really good as well. Okay, we've just come across Ed Kimber, winner of last year's Great British Bake Off, and he's going to be doing a talk and demonstration later today. So what exactly is happening in your demonstration? Uh, we're going to do a chocolate mousse, but it's a little differently. So it's going to be a white chocolate with a mousse with a white chocolate matcha ganache. So it's two layers. One is green, and the other one's a white white chocolate mousse. So a little different, but it's, it's very easy and delicious. So. Is it one of the recipes from your book? Yes, yes. I, I get to go. This is recipe. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably talk about it a little bit. And um, this is very very hot in here today. So making the thing I was going to make a little tricky with the heat. So it'll be interesting to see if it turns out. It might be more of a comedy routine. But it has been fine. Standing here with Duffy, who was the second person in the UK to make chocolate from the bean to the bar. So tell me, Duffy, why did you start doing this? I heard a programme on Radio 4 saying that the only people making chocolate from beans in England were Cadbury's. And I thought, how hard can it be? I could do that. So we did. And how hard was it? <laughs> Not very hard. I'm really? afraid it's actually very, it's embarrassingly easy. People think I'm being modest, but it is truly easy. You've got good beans, treat them carefully, look after them, do as little to them as you can, and you'll get good chocolate straight away. Your chocolate is excellent. But surely you need a lot of equipment and space and time. And I've got a small, I, first year I did it all in the kitchen at home with about 500 pounds worth of equipment and now I would say I've got about 15,000 pounds worth of equipment in a 650 square feet factory. That's it. Yeah, but it's not a lot of money, it's more than money, not more than money. So, so how long have you been making chocolate now? Uh, professionally about 18 months and with a year or so's experimentation before that. It wasn't that easy but it took a year to experiment. Well, no, it was spent a year getting the recipes right, making the contacts, trying to decide if I wanted to do it. The market research is very difficult. You give people chocolate, do you like this chocolate? Go, yeah, I mean, it's free chocolate, what's not to like? But whether that's a business case or not, I still don't really know. Still don't know? No, not yet. But you're winning awards for your chocolate, right? Yes. Which are the ones that have won awards? The uh, Honduras India Rock. The first uh, harvest for this bean was 50 kilos, and we got 200. We got 25 kilos of it, ended up with 250 bars. And we get random sacks of beans every now and again to make another 250 bars, and they're sold out before I can make them. Yeah, this is uh, this has been off the shelves for a while. Yeah, and it's uh, we off the shelf again on Monday. I've sold everything we brought already. More than. Chocolate this year for the uh, best bean to bar chocolate. Best bean to bar, bean to bar chocolate. Yeah. Congratulations. So we're calling that the best chocolate in the world. Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. I don't know who else entered. I don't know who the judges were, but you can only meet what's in front of you. There you have it, the best chocolate in the world. Um, I think we need to taste it.